Hi guys, so today we are going to see magnetic induction based communications on the agriculture field using wireless undergone sensor networks. So this is the abstract of our proposed system. So wireless undergone sensor networks constitute one of the promising application areas of the recently developed wireless sensor networking techniques. So for a long time this region has been used to bury sensors usually targeting irrigation and environment monitoring applications. Although without wireless communication capability, WSN is promised to fill this gap and provide the infrastructure for novel applications. So here are WSNs which have components, sensors that are buried underground and that uh, communicate through soil. The majority of the applications for WSNs, intelligent agriculture and environmental monitoring of the soil. Objective of our proposed system uh, compared to the present underground sensing element networks that use wired communication ways for network reading, uh, WSNs have blessings in timeless timelines of information, simple reading and knowledge of assessment, concealment, dependability and coverage density. Having many outstanding deserve like robust concealment, simply simple reading, timelessness of the info, dependability and potential for coverage density also. So here why we are going for WSN, uh, like here uh, uh, for an extended time this region has been accosted, bury sensors typically target in irrigation and surroundings observing the applications. So it full and based soil communication medium, so communication medium act as a soil only, so it will be easy to communicate and as a secure one. So existing system here uh, monitoring underground conditions uh, rely on buried sensors will be connected to WSN. Also contains all necessary sensors, memory, processor, radio. This uh, makes the deployment much simpler than existing underground sensing solutions. Wireless communication with the dense of substance such as soil or rock is however significantly more challenging than to add. Disadvantages of existing system is a toxic substance for environmental monitoring and sensors connected via wire to you uh, wire to the surface. So here a proposed system, it's mainly dependable on magnetic induction based and also promising alternative physical life technique used. Path loss is highly dependent on numerous soil properties such as the water content, soil makeup and density and can change dramatically with time. So EM waves experience high levels of attenuation due to the absorption by soil, rock and water in the ground. Advantages of existing system. Uh, advantages of our proposed system is a simpler than existing underground sensing solutions. So, so uh, simple reading timelines of, of the information and also dependability and easy to use it having a low cost and affordable for the users. So this is the block diagram of our proposed system. So we are using a soil moisture sensor DGS 11 sensor will be uh, inter interfaced with Arduino you know. So when the whether the sensors values will be get from that Arduino, you know, it will be displayed and also transmitted through to the WSN transmitter. Here uh, data will be transmitted through to the soil only, soil act as a communication medium. Then WSN receiver side will be receive the data and will be shown into computer. So this is the working model of our proposed system. So sensors are used to find as outlined WSN square measure where it works of wireless sensing element nodes operative below the bottom surface. So here, natural extension to the well established wireless sensing element networks, paradigm and WSNs may be deployed to work in underground tunnels and mines. So within the tunnels and mines, WSNs are not totally buried underground, they operate below the surface of the world, however communicate through air ducts as medium. So this is the components we are using, Arduino you know, with Atmega 328P microcontroller IC. So this is the temperature sensor, it's a DGS 11 sensor. Then moisture sensor, we are using a 230 volt to 12 volt step down transformer, this is the picture of step down transformer. And bridge rate fair it will convert AC current, alternating current into direct current. IC7805 voltage regulator will give the 5 volt as the output, IC7812 voltage regulator will give the 12 volt as the output. So this is the embedded C programming language, we developed our proposed system by using this language. So Arduino IDE, so open source software it will get. Just to google it, this is the picture of Arduino IDE. So conclusion uh, which was detected manually by human or by wired technology but now with wireless underground sensor technology it's been an easy determination of values in agriculture field also. So feature work keeping the sensors inside the soil makes it's a part of sensitive environment 
and the sensory data will be more accurate. So this can be enhanced for the large range of agriculture fields for better crop yield. So applications we can use hospitals and home, medical sectors, automobile industries, chemical industrial applications. So this is the reference slide. So that's all. Thank you.